Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Witcher 3 playthrough. Without further ado, let's continue Witcher 3. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But no buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? So long. Now, if we're gonna save here and ask him the question about the witches and then play Gwen. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's play. Let's lay him down. All right, here it goes. I like how no music is playing because we've triggered this quest in like a strange place. But I didn't know if we actually would get a chance to play the Baron again. But this is also kind of cool. Oh, sweet. We can decoy that as well. That's really nice. And another decoy for us there. He passes with a score of six. Interesting. So... I say I say we play the we play the two spies. So he has a score of eleven, right? And we'll beat that score now with two sixes. That should give us an advantage.
huge play. Force him to play his last card, and we're going to win. Wow, unreal. Nice job. He probably has a really good card. We won. Man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Sigismund Dijkstra. He's a spy card. Dijkstra, nice. Dijkstra's will be a really good card for us. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. to show me something more.
with a closer look. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another type. Though anywhere is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smoke hey guys, frog with horses. Here. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. 
And those damn birds. Swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. For the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Then proceed to get the pearls from these people's house. And what is this? This is just amazing. Diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Okay, not bad. I said we go talk to tomorrow, actually. There's plenty we can also do in the meanwhile, so... Let's see what else...
just destroy it. make our way over to Oxenford. For now, I say we just continue on with, um, you know, clearing through all this stuff here. And maybe we even start the Crookback Bog quest. That, that probably couldn't be a bad idea. Get up. But for the rest of this video, at least, we'll just explore some more. Beautiful.
Did I get to loot the monster nest? Uh, well, I could try. Greetings! Well, I actually still think the other one may be better for the critical hit damage bonus and critical hit chance. So, yeah. But I should be able to sell some of this stuff here. What book did I sell? That's fun. Farewell. All right, cool. Now where? I should head down here. Go, go. Now we're getting the spot. And here, before we accept this quest, that's where I'll go ahead and end the video there for this week. With that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.